Howdy folks, you're listening to Smarticus Tells History, the podcast where we discuss some of the wacky and crazy stories your friends may have told you. So sit down, have a beer or two, and let's learn a thing or two. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Mythology and Folklore Human history is full of it. From the great ancient gods and goddesses of Egypt, Rome, Greece, and even the Mayans, to Paul Bunyan and its blue ox, there are thousands of stories that we learned in school during our younger years. So much so that when you have been out for a while, well, we start to forget which heroes and villains were real to begin with. Some you may have forgotten even existed in the first place. Well, this week's story is about one of those heroes. One who, in fact, was a very real person. That person goes by the name of John Chapman. You may know him as Johnny Appleseed. You see, John was born in a little old town in Massachusetts in 1774. His father had fought in the American Revolution War, and his mother died when he was young. What else do we recall about Johnny Appleseed? Well, we can recall that he, of course, traveled the country planting those apple seeds wherever he went. What we don't know, or that we had always presumed, was that they were the apples much like we see today in the grocery stores. However, they were, in fact, cider apples. Now, cider apples, although they can be eaten, they tend to have a very bitter or dry taste to them. But they do make for an exceptionally excellent beer. He planted his first nursery in 1798 in Allegheny Valley, Pennsylvania, and simply started to walk west. Throughout Johnny's travels, he would try and think of the best places that the pioneers might travel and settle. It is in those places that he would plant nurseries for them to harvest in a few years. The settlers would use them to make that excellent beer I spoke of a moment ago when they didn't have access to sanitary drinking water, or when they just wanted a beer which was quite often. Well, after a while, people began to take notice of what old Johnny Chapman was doing. The stories began to spread about Johnny's physical endurance and his skills as an outdoor man. People also took notice of Johnny because, well, Johnny didn't wear normal clothes like the other folks at that time. He was often seen wearing what would appear to be an old burlap sack with holes cut out for his head and arms for a shirt, a tin hat, and on his feet were often old, worn-out shoes, or no shoes at all. And, um, well, there's no mention of any britches, although I'm sure they were there. One fun fact that many people may also not know about him was that he was a very devout follower of the mystical teachings of a Swedish man named Emanuel Swedenborg. He would take those teachings and try and convert the various people that he would encounter handing them the writings that he carried with him, along with those apples. Now, given his attire and what these teachings were about, I can only imagine what was going through these people's heads as he encountered them. Now, John Chapman died in Fort Wayne, Indiana. But before he did, as I recall, the stories tell of him traveling all the way to California and planting those apple trees. However, in reality, he only made it as far as Illinois or Iowa, which, to be quite frank, is still pretty far, traveling on foot and planting those trees. For those that don't know, that's a span of five states across from Pennsylvania all the way to Iowa. Now, in 1871, children were still being told about the traveling man and the trees that he planted. Only this time, it was found written in a monthly magazine written by a preacher and journalist named W.D. Haley. Of course, this is partly where the stories began to change even more. There was reference that Chapman and Indians were like best friends. However, Chapman's relationship with them was just like everyone else's, narrowly escaping the encounters if you were lucky. Then, in 1948, good old Walt Disney Productions made an animated film about old Johnny Appleseed. They chose to show him as a man of Christian faith carrying only his Bible and his bag of apple seeds. They seem to have avoided any kind of mention that Chapman was not actually a devout Christian and instead was a Swedenborgian. 
But thanks to Walt Disney and the various other authors and publishing companies that told their own versions of the story, we got to grow up learning and enjoying one of the many myths, legends, and folklore heroes of our time. That's all we have for this week's short story lesson, folks, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and if you have heard any wacky and crazy stories that you want told here, you can go to our Facebook page at Smarticus Tales History and leave a comment. Now, with that being said, I'll see you next time, and you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, and awesome day. Bye now.